evaluating trig functions for 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Let's say we have a right triangle with an angle theta. Let's label the sides as opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Recall the definitions for sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Let's see what happens as theta gets smaller and smaller, approaching zero. So here's a triangle with a very small theta that's near zero degrees. As theta approaches zero, opposite got really short. It's approaching zero as well. Meanwhile, adjacent and hypotenuse are getting very close in length. So let's use this information to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of zero degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and as theta goes to zero, opposite goes to zero. And zero over a number is still zero, so the sine of zero degrees is zero. How about the cosine of zero degrees? Well, as theta goes to zero, adjacent and hypotenuse get very close in length. So let's replace the adjacent in the numerator with hypotenuse. Hypotenuse over hypotenuse is 1, so the cosine of 0 degrees is 1. Finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Again, opposite goes to 0, and 0 over anything is still 0. So the tangent of 0 degrees is 0. Now let's return to our original right triangle. And let's see what happens as theta goes to 90 degrees. This time, it's the adjacent that gets very small, and the opposite and the hypotenuse are getting very close in length. So let's use this information to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of 90 degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and as theta goes to 90 degrees, opposite and hypotenuse get very close in length. So let's replace the opposite in the numerator with hypotenuse, and hypotenuse over hypotenuse is 1. So the sine of 90 degrees is 1. How about the cosine of 90 degrees? As theta goes to 90 degrees, the adjacent goes to 0. So let's replace adjacent with 0. This means the cosine of 90 degrees is 0. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. As theta goes to 90 degrees, the adjacent goes to 0. We're dividing by 0, which technically isn't defined. But here we'll just say it's infinity. So those are the trig functions for 0 and 90 degrees.